Good morning, RMS Colby College, University of Texas. This is Ms. Studer with your Red Fox Report. It's getting a little dark out here, so I had to pick a place that had some light. So I decided I'd show you something along the road I live on. This is indeed the road I live along. It's a dirt road. Um, dead ends down there, which is real nice. My house is down there. Um, there are houses on the end and a house behind me. That's it. Uh, you'd think nobody ever drove by, but boy, there are a lot of people with licenses that live in those houses. Good neighbors, too. Good people. Gotta love having good people when you live on a dirt road. I'm here to show you another thing that happened because of the tornado. I also had to pick a place that had enough light. So I thought I'd come out here. Yesterday, I spent quite a bit of time watching on this very tree uh, a downy woodpecker just working away. And if we listen really carefully, we might be able to hear it. Do you hear it? It's very soft. Downy woodpeckers and hairy woodpeckers. Um, this one might actually be a hairy. It's a little bit louder. So hairy woodpeckers are the small ones that are black and white. Downy woodpeckers are the larger ones that are black and white. And then we have um, a yellow-bellied sapsucker that is neither yellow on its belly, nor does it suck sap. But it's called the yellow-bellied sapsucker, and it's about the same size. And then we have the pileated woodpecker, or pileated woodpecker, which is about this size. They're very big. They're the ones that sound like the laughing monkeys in the woods. <laughs> That's them. Um, when they come and work on this, boy, you know it. They're, they're sick. They leave significant chips. And I do think one has been here, but not much. So I'm going to bring you up real close to take a look at this. Because woodpeckers are really, really neat. Okay. So let's see. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Look at that. So see here? This is, if you get a real good look, see if I get you really up there, you can see here that there's the trails of the bark beetles. So there's bark beetles underneath here. And as they're, you can see they're chipping away, chipping away. Up here, they're still at the bark. I can feel that. Let's see if we can see it. Right above us. Let's see. Well, it's up there. You just can't see it. It's too small and it's too dark. Oh no, I dropped you. Oh, oh, but I got you back. So, this is what I was doing yesterday. I can feel that vibration in this tree. Wow, you put your ear up to that and you can really hear it. So, I am inviting you to find a tree that a woodpecker's working on. Because it's really great. It'll take them years to work on this. And I get to watch it all. So find a place where a woodpecker's been working on a tree. And just, like, hang out and see when it shows up. And when it does, put your ear on that tree. Wow! It's like it's sending a telegraph message to you. You might not know what a telegraph is. Anyway, um... It's a, woodpeckers are really neat, and dead trees are really cool. Somebody once said that a dead tree has a hundred times more organic material on, and on it than it did when it was alive. And I believe that because, like, everything's there to break it down with. When it's alive, it's doing its own thing. It's independent for the most part. But when it's dead, to break it down, it will take the interactions of many organisms. This is just the first step. Let's take the bark off. Let's, let's get at those, oh, a little bit of brightness here. Let's get at those, at those uh, insects in there and let's eat them. 
and then eventually it'll get so the integrity of the tree will really break down and then it'll fall down it'll fall down in the road and we'll come down here and pick it up or it'll fall down in the forest and then i get to like come and examine it so i have to admit this is my 50th red fox report so I just wanted to put that out there because that's pretty cool. That's quite an accomplishment. And I hope you have a really great day. And, you know, just because something's dead doesn't mean it's useless. Have a great day. This is Ms. Studer with your Red Fox Report.